we continue with our minute-to-minute -minute analysis of the Matrix. Last time, the crew was betrayed by one of their own. Morpheus was taken by the agents, and Neo made his choice to save him. Today, we will be analyzing the outcome of this daring rescue. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Our duo set off a bomb that destroyed the entryway to the building. The explosion activated the fire alarm and sprinkler system. Smith is getting soaked and orders the other agents to find and destroy the intruders. The falling water is a common element used in the films. Neo's travel to meet with Morpheus, Morpheus' rescue, and the final battle in Revolutions. It symbolizes the Matrix code inside the simulation. Next, Neo and Trinity are fighting more SWAT officers on the roof of the building. The helicopter pilot calls for assistance, but then gets possessed by Agent Jones. Now comes one of the most iconic and satirized scenes in film history. Neo tries to shoot down Agent Jones, but the agent dodges every bullet. Neo runs out of ammunition and calls for help. Jones then shoots Neo and he dodges the bullets. Mostly, Neo gets a couple of flesh wounds and falls to the ground. This reminds the audience that while Neo is more powerful than any other character, he is still human. This fact is later reiterated in Matrix Reloaded during Neo's fight in the Merovingian's Chateau. You see, he's just a man. Joan stands above Neo. He is about to kill him when Trinity surprises the agent. Dodge this. Trinity becomes the first red pill to kill an agent, so to speak. The body of the possessed helicopter pilot falls to the ground. Jones had escaped to a new shell. Humans that get possessed by the agents enter a comatose state. Their bodies are taken over by the programs and their appearances change. Once an agent no longer needs or can't use their current shell, he moves on to another. Any damage that was inflicted on the body remains. Or in the worst case scenario, like with the helicopter pilot, if an agent gets fatally wounded, the human dies. So in other words, Trinity killed the pilot, not the agent. It is a sad and tragic fate for those humans who are in the wrong place at the wrong time. They are collateral damage. How did you do that? Do what? You moved like they do. I've never seen anyone move that fast. It wasn't fast enough. Can you fly that thing? Trinity calls Tank and tells him that she needs the information on how to fly that specific helicopter. This scene is interesting because it reveals that the red pills aren't limited to learning new skills inside the construct. They can learn new skills inside the Matrix at any given moment. Back in the interrogation room, the agents are still guarding Morpheus. Then the helicopter appears outside the window. Neo is manning the chopper's minigun and begins to shoot up the room. All the agents go down and Neo wills Morpheus to get up. Morpheus gathers every bit of strength he has left and breaks free from his chains and the mind-breaking serum. Remember that Morpheus was still under the effects of the injection, yet he managed to suppress it. Morpheus' strength and will are incredible. He is one of the most powerful members of the Resistance. But before Morpheus can make his escape, the agents return to the room and Smith shoots at Morpheus. He runs, but one of the bullets hits Morpheus in the leg. Neo knows that Morpheus wasn't going to make the jump to the chopper, so he jumps after him and catches him. In the beginning of the film, Neo couldn't escape the agents in Metacortex because he was afraid of heights. That fear would later prevent him from passing the jumping test in the construct. Now, however, near the end of the film, Neo jumps out of the helicopter with no hesitation to save Morpheus. He is no longer afraid. Neo has grown as a character. Smith shoots the chopper's gas tank and it begins to lose altitude. Neo and Morpheus are hanging out of the helicopter while Trinity tries to fly it. She flies close to the roof of a building and Neo drops Morpheus. Neo also lands on the roof, but the chopper is going down. He grabs the line 
and he is dragged towards the edge of the roof. Trinity gets out of the pilot seat. She grabs and shoots the line. The helicopter crashes and Neo saves Trinity. Do you believe it now, Trinity? Neo once again tries to tell Morpheus about what the Oracle told him, but Morpheus tells an interesting fact about her. The Oracle. She told me She I told you exactly what you needed to hear. That's all. What Morpheus just said reveals that the Oracle is capable of lying, so that whosoever receives one of her prophecies fulfills said prophecy. Though Morpheus believes that to be a positive trait of the Oracle. For us who have studied the Oracle's actions, we know that this is part of her manipulative nature. She told Neo what he needed to hear, because otherwise, he wouldn't have sacrificed himself to save Morpheus. Neo's actions have been manipulated. There's a difference between knowing the path and walking the path. It is not the same for Neo knowing that he is the one and acting as the one. The crew calls Tank to find them an exit. The agents arrived at the rooftop where our heroes landed and all that is left is the line and Smith is not happy. Neo, Trinity, and Morpheus reach the exit, a payphone at a subway station. However, none of them notice a homeless person watching them. Morpheus exits first, and the homeless man sees how he disappears. Many fans have wondered what happens to a person's body after they take the red pill. Do they simply disappear, or is their body left behind? The safest answer is that their residual self-image disappears once they have awakened to the real world. The homeless man was shocked by what he had just witnessed, and now Smith knows where they are. Now is when Trinity decides to tell Neo what the Oracle told her. Everything the Oracle told me has come true. Everything but this. If Trinity hadn't chosen this particular moment to tell Neo her secret, they both would have had time to escape. But she did, which delayed their escape and gave Smith more than enough time to appear. Now Neo must make a decision. Run or fight? Everyone has told him to run from the agents. Morpheus, Cypher, and even Trinity. But Neo makes his choice. He will fight Agent Smith. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. Although Neo doubted the prophecy, inevitable circumstances have forced him to accept his reality that he is the one. Next time, Neo fights Agent Smith and the epic conclusion of The Matrix. For Matrix Explained, Please leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.